Hey guys, this is Chef Bill with High V. Today we're gonna to do a pork ribeye steak. You say pork ribeye steak? Well, sometimes when you're cutting the pork loin, you're gonna get those little fatty pieces with the little bits of fat in the center of it rather than those lean pieces of center cut pork loin. I like the little fatty ends. This is what we have over here. Look at it. These are the pork tenderloin of the part. You see a part like that? People say, I don't like that, too much fat. If anybody likes ribeye steak like I do, this is the ribeye steak of the pork loin, all right? And that's what we're gonna kinda do, all right? So we're gonna take that baby there, and we're gonna go ahead and brown them. I'm not gonna implore a different pot because I want something bigger. And a little more oil to this. This is a really interesting way of getting things done. I'm gonna go ahead and season my pork, lay it all the way out. It's really gonna be hard. This is a way of getting a meal on the table in less than 20 minutes. If you don't think it's possible, I'm gonna season it up. Flip it over. Notice the mess I'm not making on the counter. Seasoning. All right, all right. That's ready there. My pan hopefully is gonna have some color. Now that will shrink just a little bit, just like any other meat will. All right, we're gonna leave that right on it just like that. Roll the garbage out. <clears throat> you know, there's nothing special or fantastic about being a good cook. All we're doing is letting the pan do the work. Got a little oil in there. It's sitting in there, swimming around, having a good time. And you know something? We're gonna get some color on there. And I just wanna get some color on there. It's not gonna take long. They're only about a half an inch thick, <clears throat> which is good. So we're just gonna let that sit and get happy while it's doing that. And I may drain some of that oil off of there, which I think I will. I'm not gonna do that right into this pan here. Right. <clears throat> She's wanting to get color on it. We're gonna let that happen. We're just gonna let that sit. I'm gonna put the lid on it just for a couple of minutes and let that go. The worst part about cooking with anything is that a lot of times we wanna keep on moving it, we become impatient for the pan and the stove to do their job. Let the stove do its job, let that meat sit so it's a good, good sear on it and it comes out looking good. And when that happens, the pan's gonna do it. Again, we're not gonna overcook this pork. The pork, the pork itself, you want it to be tender and juicy. Bring it to 155 internal temperature if you don't like the red. Bring it to 155, you won't see any red color, and I guarantee you it's gonna be the best pork and the most tenderest pork that you've ever put in your mouth because that's what it's all about. Enjoying the flavors. That's coming up. You're getting some color on there. That's kind of what you want to do. Look at that. Now the hardest part of the day.
I'm moving the stuff around in the pan. It's gonna get some good color on there. And we're just gonna let that get buried. Look at that, gorgeous that is. We're gonna put the lid on it and let Mother Nature take care of the rest. It's gonna take all of about five, maybe six minutes for it to come up. And you know something? You got your entree done and everything's ready to go on the table. Not hard to do. It's all made in a jar. It's a chunky, it's a medium. I use medium because you want to pull out the flavor. All right, we add salt and pepper to the pork, a medium chunky salsa, and that's kind of the flavor that you want. And we're gonna go with that one there. As you can see, it's cooking them nicely. The bubbles are coming up. It's gonna try and reduce a little bit. That's fine, it concentrates the flavor. And it's actually braising it inside the, the salsa. That's kind of what you want to do. Just let it go. Mother Nature will do the rest. All right. All right, guys, let's take a look at our pork, which has been dancing in this pan. It's fantastic. All right, I know it's tender, it's juicy. It's only cooked for about five minutes on the second side. Look at that, that's ready to go. I'm gonna take a temp on it, so. It's 183, more than I'd like to see it cooked, but you know something? That's all right, it's still gonna be tender and juicy. That I guarantee you, 155 perfect temperature. So we're ready to go. Let's put this on a bed of rice today. <clears throat> and we're gonna put that on and angle it up. Look at that. Is dinner on the table tonight or what? I got dinner ready to go. And then all we're gonna do is take some sauce. You got all your sauce over here and just pour it over. How much work did you do? Is that not a good looking plate of what? That's kind of what you want. Guys, we're gonna give that a bite, see what it's all about. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna like it. All right, we're gonna take a little bite of this. Look at that. Not overcooked, it's still juicy. See the juices running out of it? But it's not pink. You got good flavor in there. And you know something? That's a great meal. Simple. My mouth is happy. I'm in love with myself. I mean, I'm, I'm in love with the pork. It's great. It's a great meal, guys. Give it a try. It's a quick 20 minute meal on top of the stove. You can get a family of six uh, cooked, finished off in 10, 15 minutes. Nothing to worry about. Dinner's on the table. Thanks for cooking with me. This is Chef Bill.